shortly after 11 o'clock tonight here in, in Watertown at the Stewart shop here on Washington Street, uh, the 911 center received a call of a, a robbery in progress. Uh, the clerk advised that there was a, a suspect in the store armed with a handgun and was still in the store as, as they were talking to the 911 dispatcher. Watertown police patrols were in the, the very close proximity as well as a member of the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department who immediately responded to this scene. At one point during this incident tonight, uh, one of the clerks from Stewart's was uh, coming out the front door at the direction of our assailant, our robber. The clerk broke free. The assailant was uh, ordered to uh, drop the weapon, and uh, they, they did not do that. It was pointed in the direction of the police officers and the deputy, at which time they returned, fired. They, they fired on the suspect, hitting the suspect. The suspect went down. The clerk is safe, uh, and the, the suspect was, in fact, transported to SMC, and at this point, I believe, is deceased. The sheriff's department being involved, as well as the city police, Sheriff Burns and I, uh, made some decisions. We did also discuss with the district attorney. And at this point, I'll, I'll defer to the sheriff as to, to where we are going with this investigation. As the chief said, uh, along with the district attorney, because the uh, sheriff's department along with the city police are involved in this, uh, we made a decision that we would uh, call the state police in uh, using their BCI along with their evidence technicians to, uh, to assist us in this investigation. Our detectives are going to be uh, involved in the investigation. Uh, it appears right now from everything we've gathered that uh, certainly the subject came out of the store in a threatening manner, waved the uh, handgun at the officers who did return fire. But we, uh, we made the decision to ask the state police to come in and take a look at it and, and they're going to do that. Did both city PD and sheriff's deputies fire? There was a number of rounds that were discharged. Uh, pending the investigation, uh, you know, we don't know exactly uh, who may have shot or how many rounds at this time. But do you think both deputies and city It certainly yes. appears at this that. time that uh, both deputies and uh, city police fired rounds. At this point, I think what is really the, the, the most important here is, is the two clerks from the two clerks, the, the male and the female clerk at Stewart's, are safe. They were not injured. Uh, all law enforcement personnel is safe, was not injured. Uh, the only one, uh, obviously, that uh, uh, was injured here this evening is the assailant. This is all in the very early stages, this investigation. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's troubling that this is occurring in our, in our city. But uh, our officers are, are, and our deputies are, are well trained, and, it, and at this point, we're uh, we're going to see uh, obviously how this this shakes out as as the state police look into this further. When was the last time that uh, that someone was shot by by police in the city? Has that been? I, I've been on the department in excess of 29 years, and, and I don't recall it having happened in my career. So, uh, and I don't know about the, the sheriffs, but I, I'm sure it's probably equal amount of time. Thank you, Stewart so. Moss. Yes, sir. Yes. So at this point, uh, we'll we're, we're waiting for the state police uh, to have some personnel from Oneida arrive here on scene. Uh, Washington Street will be blocked for uh, probably a good part of this evening, and uh, at this point, uh, we'll probably be speaking more tomorrow when we, we, we have some more facts to, to, to give you. Okay. Is the clerk ever in custody? Or not in custody, but were they held hostage? Or did they yes. just in yes. in encounter each other coming out the door? The, the, the two clerks at Stewart's uh, were held against their will by the assailant, yes. 
it's it's hard to tell at this point. Again, the very preliminary stages of this investigation, but uh, a 911 call was placed, and uh, you know we'll we'll have to review that tape to to, to know exactly. But uh, at, at this at this point, uh, there's a lot of facts here that that haven't we can't disclose just as of yet.